In this video, we're going to begin looking at the idea of a function, what a function is, and how we can identify whether or not an ex a relationship is a function. A simple definition for a function is it has only one output, which is often represented with the letter y, for each input, which is often represented with the letter x. Maybe a better way to do this would be to draw a picture to kind of illustrate what I mean by this. This little contraption here, I like to call the function machine. And to label the function machine, because it is a function, if something is a function, we will often write f with an x in parentheses, which is read f of x. And so I'm going to label this function machine f of x. Now, it's important to remember that this f of x notation does not mean f times x. That is not what this means. Really, the letter f is a naming convention. It's the name of the function we're working with. And then what's in parentheses tells us what the variable is going to be replaced with, or what the variable is. So it does not mean multiplication. And the idea between the, of, the, of this function machine that I've got here is if I take the number 6 and I throw it into the function machine, I'll get a number out, maybe negative 2. Then I could throw another number in, let's say I throw 2 in, and out pops the number 5. And then I come back again and I say, okay, this is fun, let's throw the number 6 in again. If this truly is a function, what it will spit out will be negative 2. Because if it's a function, for each input, the number 6 going in twice will always have the same output, negative 2, both times. Any time I put a 6 into this function machine, I'll always get negative 2 for a solution, every time. That's what a function machine is. There's only one possible output. Only one thing can come out for any one number I put in to the function machine. Now, one way we can tell if a graph is a function is if it passes this thing called the vertical line test. What the vertical line test basically checks to see is each x has at most one y. The idea is if I draw a vertical line through the graph, I should only hit the graph once. If I hit the graph twice, that means I've got two different answers, and that's not allowed because there's only one output for each input. So for example, one here, we want to know if this loopy guy is a function. And what we do is we just kind of imagine a vertical line going through the graph, and it only hit the graph once. Regardless of where I put this vertical line, it only hits the graph once. Slide that vertical line all over the place. It's only going to hit the graph once. There's not two points on a vertical line. And so because it only hits the graph once, we say, yes, this is the graph of a function. It does work. It passes the vertical line test. Compare that with example 2 here. If I draw a vertical line through the middle of example 2, you'll notice that vertical line crosses 1, 2, 3 times. That means there are three possible answers for that one value for x. That one input is coming out with three different things out of the function machine. Well, that doesn't work for a function machine. This one, no, is not a function. Even though if I drew the line to the left, it only, or to the right, it only crosses the graph once, but there is somewhere where it's going to cross more than once. One, two, three, that's not allowed with a function. So that's what a function is. For every input, I'm sorry, yeah, for every input, there's at most one output.